For the 2026 Formula One World Championship, Ferrari is continuing to push extremely hard behind the scenes, aiming to arrive at the start of the season with a significant technical edge over its closest competitors. Among the various strategic and technical challenges linked to the upcoming regulatory cycle, the Italian team will enjoy, during the first six months of the season, a substantial advantage in terms of the technical development of its 2026 car. This advantage will allow the team to operate with more room for error than its direct rivals Mercedes, Red Bull and McLaren, while simultaneously pursuing a highly aggressive development plan that will be implemented and evolved during the first half of the season. It will also provide the engineers and aerodynamicists more time to test and refine correlations between simulated models and on-track performance, which is essential in a regulatory era where precision and reliability are paramount. The Italian squad has already defined its 2026 technical development calendar in meticulous detail. Several critical milestones have been scheduled throughout the year, with the overall pace and allocation of resources carefully dictated by the regulatory framework. For the aerodynamics department, the entire program of work is organized around the ATP, namely the aerodynamic testing periods, which are specific intervals designated for structured aerodynamic evaluation. Each ATP period typically lasts approximately eight weeks, although this can vary depending on special circumstances such as the traditional summer break in the Formula One calendar, during which teams temporarily pause or reduce development activity. The FIA imposes strict limits both on wind tunnel testing and on the use of computational fluid dynamics, commonly referred to as CFD. These restrictions include specific reference values for the amount of time each team can spend in the wind tunnel, as well as defined limits on the computational resources available for CFD simulations. To determine the actual allowances for each team, the FIA applies a coefficient system that is based on the constructors' championship ranking from the previous season. This coefficient indicates the percentage of the reference values that each team is permitted to exploit for both wind tunnel and CFD work, which has become a crucial factor in determining how effectively teams can develop their cars under the new rules. Ferrari finished fourth in the 2025 Constructors' Championship, which granted them a C coefficient, corresponding to 85% of the base allocation values for both wind tunnel and CFD usage. Starting from January 1st, the team will have a total of 340 hours available in the Maranello wind tunnel. It is important to note, however, that not all of this time is immediately usable, as some hours are occupied or unavailable due to what is referred to internally as occupancy. In practical terms, this means that the Italian engineers will have 68 fully usable hours for wind tunnel testing, during which they can conduct physical experiments, validate aerodynamic concepts, and refine the car's aerodynamic balance. These 68 hours translate to 272 individual aerodynamic runs available in the wind tunnel. By comparison, this is 48 more runs than the reigning 2025 world champion, McLaren, had at their disposal giving Ferrari a tangible advantage in the early stages of the 2026 season. As for CFD simulations, which are used to model airflow and test potential aerodynamic solutions virtually, the allocation is identical. This allows Ferrari to explore up to 1,700 new geometrical configurations for components such as the front wing, rear wing, floor, and overall bodywork. By contrast, McLaren will have significantly fewer geometries to test, making them the most constrained team at the beginning of the 2026 campaign. This allocation strategy underscores how early season preparation and resource management can have a decisive impact on performance in a highly competitive field. Although Ferrari experienced a challenging season in 2025, struggling with reliability issues, inconsistent performance, and occasional strategic missteps, the team now has a solid foundation for the 2026 campaign. Most importantly, Ferrari will benefit from greater flexibility and a wider margin for error compared to its main competitors. It is important to recognize that, even with this advantage, the top four teams in Formula One are all highly sophisticated, possessing extensive technical expertise, advanced simulation tools, and considerable financial and human resources. Consequently, performance improvements will largely be determined by marginal gains, small but significant enhancements in aerodynamics, mechanical balance, and overall vehicle performance. Having this type of advantage at the start of a new regulatory cycle can be absolutely decisive in establishing early momentum and securing strong results. 
teams cannot test every conceivable solution within the constraints of their allocated hours. For example, if a team has access to 2,000 potential aerodynamic geometries, it must strategically decide how many of these can be effectively tested for each major area of the car, including the front wing, floor, side pods, and rear suspension. This requires careful prioritization and a clear understanding of which design directions are most likely to yield competitive gains. However, having this wildcard allocation allows Loic Serra and his engineering team at Ferrari to explore a greater number of geometries, providing them with more opportunities to study potential technical solutions and identify the optimal configuration. In a period when no team yet knows the best approach for each specific area of the car under the new regulations, having more freedom to make errors, experiment, and refine solutions is crucial. This is especially important in areas such as the front wing, where subtle aerodynamic differences can have a profound impact on overall car balance, tire wear, and performance during a race weekend. In every Formula One team, learning from errors is considered the first step toward continuous improvement. This principle applies directly to Ferrari, where the ability to test more geometries may translate into superior decision-making regarding front-wing development, potentially resulting in highly effective aerodynamic solutions. The same logic applies to components considered secondary in aerodynamic influence, such as barge boards, turning vanes, and rear bodywork. Conversely, McLaren and other teams with more restricted allocations will face tougher decisions, forced to prioritize certain tests over others, and accept compromises in their early development approach. During the first three ATP periods of the year, it will be crucial for Ferrari to invest heavily in the resources and budget at their disposal. This approach is designed to ensure that by the month of June, the team has a car that is as reliable, consistent, and aerodynamically optimized as possible. The first significant milestone will be the official pre-season testing at the Bahrain International Circuit, where the team will evaluate the car's performance based on a combination of CFD simulations and wind tunnel data. This testing will provide a critical measure of the effectiveness of the development work carried out during the preceding months. The correlation between simulated aerodynamic environments and real on-track performance for Ferrari has historically been very strong. Ferrari team principal Frederic Vasseur has emphasized that while simulations are extremely reliable, direct on-track comparisons are essential for confirming development directions, particularly when certain design elements may not deliver the expected results. By having access to more geometries for testing, Ferrari gains a clear advantage in achieving precise correlation between simulation predictions and actual track performance. By February, Ferrari will still have some components left to test, which is a deliberate strategy to allow the team to respond effectively if correlation between simulated and real-world data is not as expected. Compared to the previous era, validating components and aerodynamic solutions should be more straightforward, as earlier regulations required highly complex work on the car's floor, making it challenging to both simulate accurately and test extensively in the wind tunnel. At the conclusion of the six-day test in Sakir, the historic team will be able to establish a ranking of the fastest and most promising cars, not necessarily based on lap times, which can be influenced by fuel load and tire strategy, but rather on the quality of the solutions, overall potential, and predicted performance. Even though each team will attempt to obscure the true capability of their cars, the calculations and performance indicators will provide a clear indication of where each design stands. Based on this internal ranking, Ferrari will define a detailed development plan for the first three ATP periods of the season, ensuring that the team maintains a consistent and methodical approach to improving the car throughout the early stages of the championship.